Hello, beautiful people. It is your favorite blogger. Once again, Miss Trish with another episode of Coffee Chronicles. Do not judge me. You already know what this means if you have been watching and if you do subscribe. So grab your favorite cup, put whatever you want in it, and let's dive into this episode of Coffee Chronicles because it is No Excuses November. And I'm going to give you five ways that you can ditch your excuses. Right, beautiful people so it is november 2nd that means we are two months away from the big 2023 we have goals we want to accomplish but we shouldn't wait till then right we should start preparing now for the next year so i know i make excuses sometimes for being tired not in the mood not motivated and stuff like that but i'm here to help you as usual change that so let me start with number one of five ways to ditch your excuses and get your goals going for this November, especially because it's no excuses, no November. Get it? Get it. All right. <laughs> Number one, pick the hard thing to do, the hardest task to do first every single time. Now, when it comes to excuses, it keeps us in a box, right? It's like, I'll put it off to the next day, or I'll just do the same thing and expect a different result. No, you kind of don't want to do that anymore if you're willing to grow and wanting to grow and change and grow your business, grow yourself as a person, grow in any aspect of your life, right? You pick the hardest aspect of your goal first, because A, it may be the longest, B, it may be the tedious, and C, it may be the most tiring one that you have to do. But guess what? If you set yourself a mental note to know that these things will take long to do, and you tackle it in whatever time frame that it takes, trust me, at the end, it will be so rewarding to do the hardest thing first because then the rest of your tasks are going to be a breeze. Number two. All right, so this one is kind of hard because... It's easy to do this, right? But you have to put yourself in a mind frame where you can't whine or complain. Now, I'll tell you why you can't do this. Because the more you whine and complain is the more it will be for your tasks to do. It will be harder to accomplish anything if you start to find fault in everything. So, do yourself a favor. Think about what you say before you say it. Think internally, too, before you even say anything or say anything at all. And try to contemplate how many times you whine and complain in a day that stop you from doing what you're actually supposed to do. Because that is another excuse. Oh, I don't want to do it. I'm too tired. I'm this. It's too much. When you start saying but a lot and putting those little words in there, that stops you too. So take a mental note again of how much you whine and complain and definitely try to eliminate that. Because then again, that will help you go forward in your goals and your list of stopping your excuses. This is a bonus one. Eliminate the word can't. Stop saying that. Honestly, again, it takes thinking. I know it takes a lot of thinking before you speak because our words have power, as we all know. But eliminate negative words like can't, don't, won't, should have, could have, would have, but eliminate those words. That's another helpful tip. Number three. Number three is basically push yourself more than you normally would. Let's just say you work on your self-love activities or your entrepreneurship activities only two hours a day. Number three says push yourself a little bit more. Double that. That will help you get used to the longer periods of work and then that will actually stop you from making excuses from doing it because you'll be used to it by that time and you'll actually like it because these are things you like to do, I'm assuming, right? Especially all your goals and stuff like that. So try to push yourself a little bit harder. Number four, encourage yourself. Encourage yourself in ways where you have books and quotes and YouTube videos and stuff like that that will actually give you the words of affirmation and the motivation you need to keep on going. Sometimes I know we scroll through our social media and we see some negative stuff and stuff like that and we take it in because it's also normal we're such scrollers on social media and that's okay but remember to sign up and subscribe to some people that give you motivation and inspiration some of your mentors some people who are already in the position is you make sure you know you get that in your cell vote that means your brain <laughs> in French but make sure that you get that in your atmosphere so that you can always remember some of the words that were said that keep you going write them down post them around you and I'm telling you that will also help you eliminate some of the excuses that you have going on number five last but not least picture yourself 
already where you want to be. When you can envision yourself where you already want to be, it makes excuses null and void for you to even get there. Give yourself that goal. Give yourself that motivation. Post it around you. Vision boards, vision stickers, anything like that. Make sure you visualize, like start from the end. Visualize the ending where you want to be. And that will definitely, definitely push you to your next level. It's all really about self, you know? Yes, we can, like I gave you the point before, we can definitely surround ourselves with inspirational videos and things as, and like that. But at the end of the day, you really have to look within self. Once again, you guys know I'm the self-love, personal development girl, <laughs> okay? But you definitely have to look within yourself first because that's where everything begins. So picture yourself where you want to be and guaranteed you will get there. My Miss Trisheries, this was this episode of Coffee Chronicles. Mm -hmm. Coffee. <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for watching. You know what to do to follow my content. You could subscribe to this wonderful YouTube channel, Miss Trish TV. That's me. Or you can follow me on Instagram at all things Miss Trish. And I'm, I'm on TikTok. TikTok is also Miss Trish TV. Or you can join my group on Facebook. Oh, at Miss Space Trish. And Merch is coming. Merch has already started coming and selling. Ooh, www.allthingsmistrish.com. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your love and support. Mwah. And I will see you guys again soon. Bye.